What is going on guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to tell you what college I got into, why I did not go to my dream college, and how I got in, and a little bit of ins and outs of my life. I want to educate you and hopefully give you some tips and tactics if you're going through your college journey, if you're trying to pick a college, all that good stuff. But more importantly, I want you guys to dive into my life. I'm going to tell you why college might not be for you, or why rejection and not doing certain things are also good for you as well. So stick tuned at the end, I'll tell you guys all here in a minute. So, I not got rejected. I applied to one college. My one college was my dream college. Luckily, after high school, I went to community college. Um, yes, Go Riverhawks, AACC. So, I'm going to tell you guys why I ended up in community college. You might be um, understanding or, or not sure if community college is meant for you, but let me tell you guys, my two cents is going to be my fourth semester is yes, go to community college. If you want to save a lot of money, um, stay at home, work, but you're not, you're missing out on the perks of college. So, this comes down to the value system of what you want in life. So after my senior year, I tore my ACL. So when you go to Jamie to play soccer, go Dukes, the uh, Division One soccer team, and in Virginia. And um, after I tore that, I decided to stay home, and that's when I started my business and all that good stuff. And then I went to two years of community college. It was time for me to apply to a business school. And that's why I ended up applying to my dream college, where I had the opportunity to play soccer. All this stuff was lined up. It was far away from me. A lot of my friends were there. Big party school, very smart, and, and have a great um, business program as well. And I thought this was my dream college. This is what I thought was meant for me. I thought that, hey, if I get in, there's 100% no chance that I'm not going to go there. Like, this is the only school I'm going to apply to. Um, I applied to one other school, and I got in, and I just basically threw it away because I really didn't even value it. And I was, like, content on going to this college. So my mind was set. I was ready to go, and I applied early in the end of the year. What was that at? Maybe like late April as a transfer because I'm coming from a community college as a sophomore transferring to the fall of my junior year so stoked excited to start something new and it took so long it took like four and a half months to finally hear back so it's been a long process figuring out and a lot of worrying to see if I got into the college and finally I get a message on my phone it's like July 2nd or 1st um, email comes up from the University of South Carolina go Gamecocks I've already visited and stuff like that prior to give you a little background and I finally see that I was accepted of course I was excited I remember I was where I was I was sitting right here on my bed and my dad and all of them were so excited for me I was ready to get going but I didn't have that excitement anymore I was not sure what I wanted to do I was scared and I was worried but I still wanted to push that aside and I went through the rest of the I'm gonna go figure this out I'm gonna just go do it I'm gonna do college my dream college Super excited, but I didn't really understand what my passion was at the time. I thought education was really meant for me. I thought, hey, I'm going to go to college, get to leave this house, get to live on my own and become my own person. But I just realized what my passion was. My passion, I hope for you can also understand your passion as well. Um, is business is my passion. And one thing I didn't value was the business degree that I was searching for or trying to chase. And luckily for me, I've kind of had this entrepreneurial spirit my whole life where I've started multiple businesses. I currently own or run about two and a half, three businesses. Half is, is in the process still. But um, so yeah, I've always wanted to run businesses and I've always wanted to do that. And I've been to school for so long now, I don't understand the value of the education system. So I thought I'd give it a chance. I applied orientations coming up, all that good stuff. I'm set that I'm going there. So finally come to the most important part finances what are you gonna do when the money colleges they need their money you need to pay to get in and I was figuring that part out and I was um, applying as an in-state student because the degree that they don't have in Mar they have in Maryland they don't offer um, anywhere else so like it basically in-state tuition I'll be paying in-state tuition in South Carolina paying about seven thousand dollars a mes semester that is the plan we can I can afford that not take on debt all that good stuff and I'll lead to this in a second here but uh, as I go in to apply through the Maryland Higher Board of Education, I find out that I missed a deadline to apply for this because I got accepted too late. And that's kind of not my fault. I didn't know what to do. I called them multiple times. They still wouldn't push it back. I called for hours, even called the university, and they said, hey, if you want to come here, you have to pay full price the first semester. Then you can go there in the spring into the business program. But they don't allow you to do that um, because you have to be at, uh, like in the university in the fall. So that's kind of what I did. I was like... Uh, do I really want to pay $26,000 for one semester, take on some debt, then finally go there in the spring? So I was like, okay, what am I doing? I realized what I have going on in my life. I knew what I was enjoying in my life. I knew what was making me feel good and what I really wanted to do. I knew what was burning my heart. I knew what my passion was. And I knew that business was my passion. So I wanted to take this opportunity to really ball out and not have to worry about college that much. So I continued to take two more classes at 
my community college a semester. I ended up calling them and saying, hey guys, thank you for the opportunity. I don't think I'm going to be going there in the fall. Um, based on the tuition situation, I just didn't value debt like that. And I appreciate you getting back to me. So they took forever to get in. And then it kind of screwed me at the end. I wasn't able to get in my dream college. I was like, what do I want to do with my life? Uh, I told all these people I'm going to go there. But I realized that it's okay to tell people that you're not going to go. If you're getting rejected in your life, no matter where you are and whatever stage of life you are, if you've got rejected financially, uh, relationally, you're in college, don't take that personal. Don't be afraid to tell people what the true story is. Don't be afraid to let people know what really happened. Don't hide that. It's your truth. People really don't care that much and you don't really understand that until you actually let it out. And I finally was able to tell my family was like, wow, what are you going to do now? Uh, my friends were really shook too because I was just leading up to this point. I was going to USC. I thought that was my calling. I thought I was going to get there, but no. I was able to just be honest with myself and I knew exactly what I wanted and you probably know exactly what you want too. It's just a matter of owning it up and being cool with with your family, friends, all that stuff. Say, hey, this is not what I want. At first, I thought this was it, but I didn't value my education at that high of a value. So my thing, and I just want to leave you guys with something that a value is just the value metric, kind of what I understand. So time, value, all that stuff. As a small business owner, I've understood that you have to understand these concepts because your time is money and money is time. So I understood that, hey, I'm investing a lot of time getting into the school. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to go there and be in a lot of debt. But at the same time, I could be home working, um, getting my education still, and allowing me myself to grow uh, my my investing portfolios, grow my financial position, all that stuff. Make money instead of going too far away where I can't make money, and I'm going to let all my businesses and all my business traction just go to waste. So I was like, no, I don't value that that high. Even though my dream college was to go here, I finally got in. It was very justifying knowing that I could. And I was like, finally. I'm not going to do it. So that's kind of how I did it, why I didn't go to my dream college. And if you didn't go to your dream college too, give me a little knuckle touch or knuckle punch, whatever it is. Uh, we're on the same boat. So one thing I just want to recommend to all those who are trying to get into their dream college, um, uh, I don't know what to say really, but grades really don't matter that much. Um, they do matter a lot, but if you know your direction and path in life, then don't really stress your grades as much as you think they are unless you're going to a big Ivy League school or like this big top 10 school but I did take grades serious do the best you can I'm not saying grades are not important but I kind of am I'm saying that you got to do and allocate what you need to get done like really I just understand hey I got this grade because I didn't put in the work then you're gonna be then you have to be okay with that and if you didn't put the work in and you didn't get a good grade then you have to be okay with that whatever you put in is what you're gonna get out kind of a concept of life Kind of I realized. Also, play sports, get in clubs, all that stuff is so cliche, but be interactive in your community. When you start applying, you're going to have to put your name out there and you're going to have to get build this portfolio of what you've done. They want to, colleges want to see that you're active in the community, that you're active even at school and doing things with your academic and um, and your, just your life in general. So just simple tips like that will help you get in the college you want. But if you don't go into your dream school, if you get rejected from your dream school, don't beat yourself up. Be okay with it. Handle it and be strong. And tell yourself that, hey, it happens for a reason. Certain things line up. And because once you make one decision in your life, it's going to lead into another door and open up another possibility in your life. You just can't dwell on the past. You can't dwell on the rejection. And you cannot dwell on the fact that you didn't go or do something that you've always wanted to do. You got to look at that circumstance, really justify it, and then move on. Life is about choices, about, about options, all that stuff. Just move on from the past. Move on from these small things. At the end of the day, college is not that as important as you think it is. Yes, it's some fun. But if you have certain goals and you're trying to achieve them, you can achieve them a lot of other places. So for those who've got to rejected, who won't. I understand it's going to be difficult. And all those who had enough balls or whatever you call it to say, hey, I'm not going to go there because it's not right for me. Or I'm not going to go follow my friends to the school because, hey, I know they're having fun, but it's really not good for me. I give you a lot of kudos. So thank you for giving me the time to tell you why I didn't go to my dream school. Kind of depressed for like maybe 30 seconds, but then you move on. Get on with your life, guys. It's so short. Don't dwell on the simple things in life. Get going. It's a college experience. Yes, we're supposed to live it and have fun, but do what's best for you. Do what's making you happy. And don't let anybody tell you what you should and shouldn't do. All that stuff. It's your life. Own that stuff, baby. Why to go to college is right there. I'm still going to community college, and I'll tell you guys kind of how I finish out this year. I'll keep you updated. Let's get some good response. So uh, leave a comment, drop a like if you think it was a good time, and even subscribe if you'd love to. Like that'd probably make my day and make me feel good about myself because I'm kind of a failure. Not, but I'd love to have some love from you guys. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Peter Roberts. We out here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.